Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I wanted to take you through a quick tour of how to use the Express tool layers that you'll find in either AviCAD or in AutoCAD. The first thing you'll want to avoid when you're doing a drawing, I think, is using the layer pull down too much and then trying to remember which layer name you're on and so forth. I think you'll find it a lot more efficient by using uh, keyboard commands and then using the Express tool layer toolbar. You'll find this uh, toolbar located just below the command line. If you don't see it, you can turn it on just by right-clicking beneath the drawing window and then choosing it from there. The Express Tool Layer Toolbar provides a quick access to uh, many ways to toggle layers or even move entities from one layer to another. Today we'll just look at a few of them and uh, I encourage you to try some of them when you have a chance. Okay, to begin, I wanted to show you a quick way to toggle to a new layer. Uh, you'll find this uh, icon here on the far left and uh, click on it and then simply click a entity within your drawing in order to activate that layer. Notice uh, here how the toolbar status changes. Another way to speed up the drawing process is to use a toolbar here to freeze and thaw layers very, very quickly. Just simply uh, click on the icon and then click on the layer that you want to freeze. And then there's a thaw all command, which will thaw all your layers back on again. In more complex drawings, you might want to isolate a layer. It provides a great way, I think, to check uh, to make sure the entities are drawn on the correct layer and then move them as needed. Uh, isolating a layer also is great for just working on a single layer at a time in uh, more complex drawings. Uh, if you prefer to use the um, command line to activate some of these layer commands, let me show you a quick way to create your, your own uh, layer commands. First type customize and then click the alias tab. Here I suggest using a one to two letter command so that you can quickly type them in and then use the space bar or enter key. For example, here I am assigning a simple keyboard shortcut called CC and then in order to set the layer just like we did in the toolbar to the current layer I'm assigning it to the lay m cur command or layer make current command. Another really powerful tool is the qselect command which can be found in the properties palette here or um, you can just simply type it in to the command prompt. Um, here I'm choosing all the green lines in my drawing and then moving them to by layer uh, without having to select any um, entities whatsoever just basically creating a filter. Another tip I wanted to show you was um, a way to remember uh, layers that you may have turned on or off and then setting those and activating those at any time. Uh, so first get the layers, layers set the way you want it turn off or on or freeze the layers that you want to save and then activate a command called lman for layer manager. And here you can create a snapshot name and then recall that snapshot at any time. The next thing I wanted to show you was how our engineering toolset can also manage layers for you automatically. The layer names and line types can also be customized just the way you like. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, feel free to call at 888-271-7121 Monday through Friday. We're in the West Coast and we'd be glad to help and answer any questions you might have. Have a great day. Bye.